Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video I'll be covering how to use the Elementor Pro Countdown Timer widget. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say that if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend getting it. And if you wanted to pick it up and support my channel, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. I also wanted to mention that I'll be covering every single one of the Pro Elements in videos and making a nice big playlist featuring each of them. So be sure to subscribe for more videos. And with that out of the way, let's dive into this video. So the countdown timer element is one of the simplest elements within Elementor Pro. And honestly, there aren't a whole lot of options unless you want to start customizing things with CMS, but that's probably fine for most people anyways, when they're creating just a simple timer countdown. So what we can do is let's just go and create a new section on this mock site right here. I'll just hit plus to do that. And here I'll hit add and I'll make a section. And what I'll do over here is search over here for countdown and I'll just drag it and drop it in right here. And by default, it just has these four blocks and it has days, hours, minutes, and seconds. And it's just ticking down with these squares and these gray boxes here. So if you wanted to, you can change the type and it says due date and this has evergreen timer. So you might want to change that. And right now it just changed it by default with the days, but I'm going to go back to due date and make it like this. Another thing you can do is check when the date is that you actually want it to go into effect for. So let's just go with Christmas day right here. So there's 316 days until Christmas from when I'm creating this video. And here it says view block. You can also do inline. So watch where the days, hours, minutes, and seconds features go in and you can see it goes just to the right of each one once we put that into effect if you go back to block then it's beneath it and it's more spread out and wide by default here you can choose what you want to show so maybe you don't want to show seconds but you want to show minutes for example or maybe just the days and hours or just the days only you can do that and have these different features enabled or disabled right here and down when we get to this part it says show label or not you can choose if it's going to display where it says days hours and minutes again a very simple feature that you can have in here and if we go over to where it says style let's just check out this area right here so we can choose the container width so right now it's at a hundred and if we were to readjust it you can see it gets tighter or wider as we adjust I'm just gonna leave it as 100 here we can change the background color so if you want to have a different color let's just go with this blue for example or maybe make it a little more pop to it I think that looks a lot better than the gray did just a moment ago and you can play around with that and get the right one as needed again and over here if we go down to border let's just go and add a solid border just to have something around this and I'm going to keep all of the values linked together I'm just going to go and add a few to that so let's just make it three so you can see it and change the color and I'll just make this black just so you can see it in this example you might not want to have it that thick and you might want to use a different color, but this gives you an idea of what you can do and add a border around each one of these specific boxes here. So you also can edit the border radius if you want down here and choose the space between each one. So right now it's by default 10. If we were to add more space, it's going to space it out and you can kind of make it a little bit more unique by doing that. Again, there's not a whole lot of options that go on within this feature for the countdown timer. So if we were to just go down to this section right down here, it says content and it says digits color. So if you wanted to, you can change the color of the digits themselves. I'm just going to leave it white and you can also change the typography. If you want a different typography or maybe a different size, if you want them big, for example, I'm just going to put it as 80 and then I'm just going to keep going down here and label color. And that's where it's going to say days, hours and minutes. You can change that as well. I'm going to make it white again. And you can again change the typography there so there's really not a whole lot of options without getting into more css but i did want to at least show you this widget as it is one of the pro widgets here on elementor so i hope that you enjoyed this video on the countdown timer widget if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more elementor tutorials thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day